Well, my friends, it seems that the Battle of Gettysburg has finally arrived in Ultimate General Civil War. And for a series or a game series that Game Labs created that started with Gettysburg to begin with, I find this to be a pretty cool battle. Now, I'm going to be playing as the Confederacy for one reason and one reason only. It's a lot harder to win as the Confederacy. And I think that that makes this more of a challenge in comments down below. But we're jumping in right now, and as you can see, we're invading the Union Zone for the second time after our triumph at Chancellorsville, and this battle could change the war. This battle could really actually turn the war in favor of the South. So it looks like Heth's division of about 75 or 7,500 soldiers is marching towards the town of Gettysburg in a reconnaissance mission. The Army of the Potomac pursues our army, and we need to scout the area of enemy movements. Fair enough. Um, as you can see, General Beaufort's cavalry is delaying our advance, and he seems determined to defend the ridges west of town. Could he be supported by infantry? We might find out by attacking them. Well, that's not necessarily good news, but we already know how to deal with this. Well, no, we don't. Look at this. Our brigades are quite small. What I was going to say is that uh, I was going to send some, some men to scout, but it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get skirmishers out of this. In fact, oh, there we go. We can get some skirmishers. So I'm going to send actually one of the skirmishers just to check out from here. We're going to be able to get a pretty good view of the battle. Obviously, I hate situations like this where we need to advance along what seems to be a pretty open piece of ground. Um, so we are going to do it anyway. We're going to go ahead and just move forward, make a massive push forward at this point. Uh, I'm hoping we can overwhelm the enemy probably a little safer to just keep our skirmishers there to watch the enemy but I want to get to that farm and I think once we can hold that we might be in a pretty decent position so let's move forward of course um, I will try to use the lay of the land as best I can but it's honestly looking like right now the only point we're gonna get a decent lay of the land is gonna be right here nonetheless I'll try to use the farm and some of these other areas to counter the Union we can also take a look here at the woods and try to get over there as quickly as possible so I'm actually gonna send my 5th Alabama and my 7th tennis, uh, Tennessee Skirmishers and try to open fire on the enemy cavalry or the enemy artillery. I always make that mistake. Why do I do that? Why, why, why? Um, so there we go. We're going to hit that artillery. That's going to be really the most damaging thing to us. I also want to make sure that Archer is back here. I don't want our general getting hit this early on in the fight. That would obviously be a very serious mistake. Um, but look at this. We'll do the same with Davis. We've got a lot of enemies waiting for us but it does look like we outnumber them at least temporarily so I'm gonna do something I don't usually do in this let's play or in these battles and I'm actually gonna run just to start getting some pot shots at the enemy uh, very very quickly I'm gonna do the same here with the Mississippi boys and I'm thinking we can actually outshoot them we've also got the cover of the cornfields and yes they do provide cover but obviously once we get into range I will stop running and that's actually working out pretty well now I didn't I don't think the Tennessee boys are exactly where I wanted them but the Alabama boys led by Archer definitely are so we're gonna try to get them here on the flank and try to really push the push our attack on the Union lines I'm also gonna set up uh, just as many cavalry divisions as we can and start opening fire here at the farm right in the middle obviously this is a dangerous position but I'm trying to drain that artillery of any power whatsoever let's go ahead and take our general we can move him forward now uh, and continue this assault and see sometimes if the enemies if you outnumber the enemy you can actually make an assault like this work pretty well I'm gonna continue moving forward moving out of cover but getting a pretty awesome um, position on Davis I'll even get some skirmishers out of here out of the um, Mississippi boys and we'll send the skirmishers to attack Gamble's position and try to roll up the enemy basically It's the best way I could explain it and look at that already looks like we're taking the farm doing a pretty good job This position is just wonderful, but we still had some boys that have run uh, Archer's division a few of the the weaker divisions that really don't have many men especially after Chancellorsville and there we go Reynolds Corps is spotted Reynolds Corps uh, core by General Reynolds is marching towards our positions. We're gonna have to hold this area as as much as we can um, So first things first taking the area um, and I think we're very close to doing that I should stop these guys from running because now no no don't charge Well, you actually you probably could charge and actually waste these New York boys But we'll just have you fire um, and in the meantime, we're gonna move the rest of our boys over here uh, closer to the farm because we really do want to hold that area we still have a lot of areas to capture but I think right now we should focus on defending uh, as much as possible let's go ahead and move forward there we go boys don't be afraid of winning it's good it's a good thing for sure uh, now here's the thing if we were getting attacked from the north I would man these trench positions it looks like a 
a no-brainer. But right now, I'm not really sure we are going to get attacked from the north. So I will put some skirmishers here. I think we're getting attacked mostly from the east. Um, and I'm going to start setting up defenses around this location. Oh, those damn black-hatted fellas again. Taint no militia. It's the Army of Potomac. Uh, and it looks like Confederates secured McPherson's Ridge. Beautiful. And there we go. General Reynolds is showing up, guys. We've got to be very careful now. This is where uh, we absolutely have to set up a defense. I'm going to try to use whatever defensive measures we have. Um, in fact, I'll even get in the trenches here with uh, the Mississippi boys. But I don't necessarily think this is a good idea. Um, the reason being, if we're being attacked from the east, well... And we stand a very good chance of getting shot up. Uh, so here we go. We're going to keep moving forward. In fact, I'm going to keep some of these boys in the woods here. I think we'll keep our skirmishers forward just in case the enemy does try to hit us. But we may need to go ahead and attack the Black Hats, also known as the Iron Brigade, um, first. Although I'm going to see if they'll come to us. Come on, boys. Davis. And actually, we're getting some pretty good shots here from these trenches. We just need to make sure that the enemy is attacking us from this northern position, and then the trenches will be extremely useful. So I am going to send the Mississippi boys here, because it looks like the Iron Brigade is on their way there. Um, I don't want to stop them. I also don't want them to get into the trenches themselves. Oh, well, let's make sure to fire on Cutler. He's going to try to get us with a flanking attack. And yeah, we could definitely use some men in the trenches. Uh, so here we go. I'm going to send the 5th Alabama. Oh, boy. The 5th Alabama is getting hit pretty hard. This is going to be an interesting fight. I'm going to send Archer over here to give these boys some much-needed uh, support. And there we go. The first Union group has routed. But look at that. The Iron Brigade and the rest of these guys are going to give us a pounding we will not soon forget. So let's move the cannons forward. Get them as close as possible. Do the same with Davis's skirmishers here. Um, and even Archer's boys might be in a position to go ahead and open up on the enemy here. Come on, boys. Let's do it. There we go. We got some more reinforcements just now arriving. Colonel Johnstone is killed. We don't have time to weep right now. AP Hill has arrived, and I think AP Hill should make his way to our defensive position immediately. Let's actually get Davis's boys in the trench. Archer is getting hit really hard, really fast. We need Davis to arrive yesterday. I mean, we really do. Um, one saving grace I'm going to try to do is send these skirmishers over here to the flanks and see if we can't get some flanking fire on the Iron Brigade. I don't expect us to be able to do much damage to them, to be absolutely honest with you. These guys are tough. They've fought us before, and they know exactly what to expect from rebels like us. And there you go. We're losing so many different brigades just all of a sudden. Um, and we've got very little left to do. It's good to see that our cannons are firing, but I don't anticipate that's going to continue for much longer. Let's hope that Davis can send Gamble back. Archer and Davis were forced back, of course, um, but we're going to keep moving forward, and we've got men arriving at the battle, including Pettigrew. This guy is a huge force to be reckoned with, um, and if we can get him here in time, I feel that maybe, just maybe, we can hold our position. So I'm actually going to order these guys to run. Now, like I've said many times, I usually never suggest running in this battle, or in not just in this battle, in this game. But there's an exception sometimes, and this is it. This is the exception. Let's keep moving forward. Try to get some pot shots on the Iron Brigade, and specifically on Harrow's artillery. But wasting the Iron Brigade would be very, very helpful. Come on, boys. Get Gamble. Okay, it seems like as soon as they saw Pettigrew, the Union definitely pulled back a little bit. But we still got positions to capture. Uh, one or more Iron Brigade regiments spotted. Oh, boy. Now, we could go ahead and try to take that position, but it's not going to be easy. Taint going to be easy, boys. Um, but let's grab Archer, move him here. I'm going to put Broken Bro. I think I've learned that, unfortunately, that, that trench is not as uh, secure as it looks. Give him hell, boy. Oh, shit. All right, well, they were getting really good shots, but now that uh, the Iron Brigade is attacking, yeah, those skirmishers might want to pull back a little bit. We'll try to keep smashing them from multiple angles. And the Iron Brigade is actually broken up into multiple uh, brigades here, the Black Hats. That is the Iron Brigade. They are known as the Black Hats, well, because they had black hats. A lot of them had sort of black cowboy hats that they would wear. Um, in this case... Uh, it may have just been the regimental commander, but I believe it was the, uh, the entire brigade, or at least many of them in the brigade. So let's see if Davis's uh, North Carolina boys can hold off this attack. Come on, Pettigrew. I know you're tired, but you need to really regain your strength, son. 
There we go. Beautiful shooting by Pettigrew. It's just a non-stop volley. And I'm going to get these cannons to start firing. I think it's probably going to be just regular round shot, which is not what I was hoping for, but it's better than nothing. Come on, McIntosh. Let's go, boys. Two seconds left. We could obviously have pushed and captured that ridge, but I think it would have been pretty tough. And actually, look at that. McIntosh is firing a shell shot. That's pretty awesome. More Yankees reinforced. My goodness. Okay, so more divisions of the first quarter are in the fray. It seems that we have invited the whole army of the Potomac. <laughs> That's not good news for us. Um, but let's see. Maybe we're going to get some friends. Thankfully, we'll get reinforcements soon. Pender's division shall enter the battlefield from this direction. That's awesome. And they'll probably be flanking to the north over here to stop the Union. Uh, because eventually, we are going to have to lead an attack, uh, quite frankly, into the Union lies. I'm going to try to get Solomon Meredith here. This is a pretty quick situation. No, don't flee. Sorry, I meant run. I meant run, boys. Let's see if we can get some shots on Solomon Meredith. Taking out a general would be huge right now. There's no reason we shouldn't be using Davis as well. There we go. Meredith's pulling back. I think he realized the gravity of the situation. And we've got them in a nice little circle here. But we can't just focus, you know, our forces over here when we've got a whole other area we need to attack. So I'm actually going to send Archer down south. Um, Broken Bro, I might send him down south as well. I don't think we have much to worry about from the north, although we also have to take that position. Fact is, there are woods there, and I feel if we advance, we're probably going to be meeting those woods uh, far too soon, and uh, not in the way we want to. Nonetheless, I think Pettigrew's got a big enough force that he can probably make that push. So let's keep moving forward. Come on, boys. Come on, Alabama boys and Mississippi. Join together in this fight. Broken Bro is going to help several brigades of the 1st Corps spotted. I mean, yeah... They are going to defend this area to their deaths, basically. But I'm really beginning to think, and there we go. We've actually sent a whole Union Brigade on the run. I'm really beginning to think we have to push on this position. Uh, I will stop the running on Pettigrew, but I think we need to really kind of do a two-pronged attack, which I don't like to do because it's dangerous, especially since we're attacking a wooded area, um, to try and uh, dislodge the men in the woods here. So let's actually get these guys in the trench. Davis's boys. And there we go. That's looking good. That's looking nice. Keep on moving forward, boys. Uh, I'm even going to move the cannons forward. And we're going to move General Davis forward as well to rally our boys, make them understand that we support them in this fight. But yeah, we've we got to stop going to those damn trenches. They're useless. They're not helping us at all. In fact, they're harming us way more than anything else. Let's see if... Is that Baxter? It is Baxter. This is where things get troublesome. Stone is advancing on a charge. I want to make sure McIntosh starts firing pretty soon. I think this is pretty good uh, distance for him to fire. And I think Stone is going to regret that decision very, very, very quickly. All right, Baxter's taking some serious hits. If we can get Stone to pull back, it's going to be amazing. Obviously, what we really need are reinforcements, and they're supposed to be on the way, but it could take a while. It really could. Come on, boys. Broken bro. You've helped us in the past. I know you can do it again, son. Oh, boy. That's not good. So we actually had one unit actually just full out route, just retreat from the battle. Um, they don't want anything to do with this. I'm going to get Davis behind uh, Broken bro here. And I'm hoping that McIntosh's artillery is going to dissuade Stone a little bit longer as we push through. Now, see, this is what I was talking about, uh, about these wooded positions. I had a feeling that wasn't the smartest decision, and I think my feeling was correct. Um, they don't have very strong divisions here, but nonetheless, strong enough to hold us back. Uh, I'm going to charge. I think we've got enough men. It's crazy, but they're pretty weak over here from what I can see. Um, I'm going to try to charge with Pettigrew and see if we can at least cause some serious damage. Already routed one of the Union Brigades. We are getting flanked by the New York boys, and I don't like that. But hell, if we can keep on pushing through here, we stand a chance at causing some serious damage to the enemy. Come on, get him. Don't let Baxter get that close, boys. 
All right, Stone is definitely getting some good shots. Pender's division has arrived. It's about damn time, Pender. I mean, geez. Lane's going to be the first to get here. We'll send him to the woods. Try to send him to the safest spot on the battlefield, of course. But we've got Stone to contend with right now, and that ain't no good. No, McIntosh, you're going to have to just go ahead and fire away. Get some canister shot on him. Come faster, McIntosh. You guys got to train at this. Oh, McIntosh, boom! Nice canister shot for sure, but we definitely got hit. We did not take that lightly at all. So there, is that all Pender sending us? Just that? Oh, I see. And sorry, guys, I've got this annoying Skype Wi-Fi thing that keeps popping up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... Looks like Pettigrew or, is actually still fighting, um, unbelievably, but he's not doing very good. That might have been a pretty big mistake. Nonetheless, I'm continuing that attack on the northern... Uh, foresty area i hate to call it the foresty area but that's what it's being called right now come on boys there we go baxter is at least pulling back we got one of them now for thousands more and Pettigrew is being forced completely back past the enemy lines um i'm ca i'm worried he's gonna get captured if he doesn't get captured maybe he can actually assist in if, hilariously we actually captured this area um, or contested it but now that we're running uh, we're not going to be contesting it anymore. We really need to get our men here very, very quickly. And it looks like McIntosh is going to try and kill Cutler. Uh, pretty interesting. Boom! Keep shooting, McIntosh. Get lucky. All right, Gamble's moving up forward as well. All right, we've got Lane moving in. Come on, Lane. Make me proud. The Broken Bro's about to Broken Bro. So I've used that pun one too many times. We really do need to put the pressure on him. Okay, we've got our reinforcements arriving now. And this is actually a charge that may work out. Unfortunately, Pettigrew has lost so many men here. Um, and obviously, the area here is not contested anymore. That was a pretty silly move on my part. I don't usually do things like that. Um, but I was feeling just that, that rebel spirit. Um, and I decided to go ahead and try it out. Didn't work out so well, though, did it? Uh, no, I don't think so. All right, Stone, that's right. Pull back, you Yankee. Okay, well, I'm actually going to enter this from a different location, which is going to be in the northern part of the woods. Uh, in fact, I'm even going to have Perrin run, because I know he's going to take flanking fire. Oh, shit, look at that. We already got some boys waiting for us. So this is the uh, West Virginia... And, of course, for those of you that don't know, West Virginia separated from Virginia to fight for the Union. Um, I only learned that because of my awesome subscribers here, you guys. Uh, otherwise, I would have been completely ignorant to that fact. And let's see where Pettigrew is. Now, Pettigrew, he's a tough guy. Um, and I think he can definitely come back to the battle. So I'm sending him back to flank the enemy here. Maybe now we've got uh, numbers on our side. And if we can take this northern part, in fact, I'm going to charge with scales. Um, and Thomas as well is going to move in here. I won't charge with him, but I'm going to move him in here. This is a group of skirmishers. If we can't take out skirmishers, well, I don't know what, what, what else we're good for, essentially. We are going to be firing uphill on Gamble, but we've got to accept the reality here. Move lane forward. Thankfully, Davis is still alive, which considering all the mess he's been through, I'm a little surprised. All right, lane Get some skirmishers here in Lane's Brigade. Kind of counteract Gamble and his New York boys. I mean, the battlefield is a mess um, in more ways than one. Let's go ahead and get Perrin to focus here. This is a little scary. It looks like we're not winning this uh, this fight whatsoever. I'm hoping that Pettigrew can make a difference. His uh, condition is bad. His morale is still unbelievably very, very high. I mean, this is, this is a guy that really knows what he's doing. Um, but we've got to take out those Indiana boys. I don't like that they're getting a cover bonus despite being away from the woods, but it is what it is. Come on, fire. We've got to get Thomas closer. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Davis is totally gone. He will not return to the fight. I like to see here in the fight at Gettysburg, a lot of these uh, groups, a lot of these men have just decided it ain't even worth it. It's not even worth continuing this because we're just going to get shot to hell. And we're sick of it. So let's move that artillery forward to help fight Paul. 
And obviously Pettigrew is going to move into this wooded position as quickly as possible. And I really do want to take that position quickly um, because the time is running out. And we are doing, like, now we're doing pretty well. So it's kind of frustrating. That's how it is with these battles, though. Moving up that artillery. Might as well. Move the supplies up as well, just in case we need them. And besides, Archer could support this attack. All right, Thomas. Keep on moving, son. Don't be afraid. Okay, Howard's 11th Corps arrives. Well, what's this? General Howard's 11th Corps has been spotted marching from the south. Need a the there. He appears to fortify Cemetery Hill. And more divisions of Ewell's Corps are coming down from the north. Beautiful. We need those boys because we need to take that northern area. And northeast. We can now pre prepare a powerful envelopment attack. Envelopment attack. That's awesome. Um, maybe a Pettigrew getting behind enemy lines wasn't such a bad thing. Maybe it's the Lord's work. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, because that's kind of working out in our favor now. Look at that. Paul is running fast. I want to stop these guys from running. That's enough. Perrin, you've done your job. Well, not entirely. Keep firing. See, the moment we turn, we get flanked. So I'm moving Thomas into this location. I'm going to grab Scales as well. It might not be a bad idea to grab one of our generals. Uh, we've got a bunch back here. Hill, Davis. Yeah, I think we could take Hill. It's going to be a little dangerous uh, maneuvering him past Paul, but we're going to try it. Go this way. And there we go. This area is definitely becoming contested now. We've got to watch for Paul. He will be back. He's got plenty of men to carry out the fight. Pettigrew can continue southwards. All right, we've taken that position. Two positions under our control now. That's beautiful. Um, we should keep moving forward over here. Let's move up. Come on. Wish we had a few more men to push here. It looks like for the most part the Union is not retreating, but definitely falling back here. And I want to make sure that we're firing at them from the woods, because that's going to give us the best shots. Pettigrew can fire at them from this hill. Why the hell not? And Hill actually managed to get here to bring some moral support to the men. Let's also bring the supply wagon. Come on, Pettigrew, give him hell. That's what I'm talking about, son. You're stronger than Biddle. Little Lady Biddle. Now we're going to fire on the enemy artillery with Thomas. Enemy artillery is obviously very dangerous in this battle. Just think of Pickett's Charge and all that uh, all that unbelievable canister shot that tore down the brigade. Um, you know, it's going to be something we have to contend with for sure in this battle. Come on, Pettigrew. I know you're better than this. All right, here, this is what I'm talking about. Start taking positions in the town. Send the skirmishers up. Start sending the artillery up. Lane, it's all up to you, man. You've got good cover. Start firing at Kurzhanowski. This is beautiful. The might of the south is not so mighty because we don't have as many men. But soon that will change. And as you can see, Pettigrew's already making this guy fall back. If we can get Biddle to fall back, Pettigrew can fall in from the north and really start smashing the enemy. Where are those reinforcements? We're still waiting for them. But we did secure Seminary Ridge. Um, I always call it Cemetery Ridge. It's Seminary Ridge. But Paul is back. I knew he would be. I was worried about this. Uh, and that's why we still have Scales here. So he can deal with Paul. Unfortunately, Paul is going to keep Scales occupied for quite a while. Let's go ahead and fire on Stone. He's already been a pain in our ass for a large part of this battle. And he's probably going to continue to be. Um, but we can at least move Pettigrew from the north here. And start smashing them from multiple locations. There we go, Stone. I think you're learning your lesson now, son. Not going to try that anymore, are we? But now the Union has a very good position here. I'm hoping the Kintosh's artillery can do a lot of damage to them. But you can see all those rebels on the field. We lost a lot of good boys. Let's be honest. Davis, I'm going to keep him up here. And Paul, you are just a pain in the ass. You really are. Here we go. Keep it up, Pettigrew. Look at how Pettigrew's canister, or excuse me, uh, flanking shots 
are destroying the enemy. It's absolutely awesome. If we can keep that up, we're going to be doing very well in this battle. There we go, Smith. Moving up. We definitely want Thomas to target Smith, even though we have to move out of cover a little bit to do it. And I think this is going to be absolutely important. Unfortunately, Lane is moving back. I don't like Archer's position with Lane back. I mean, all we have is artillery here, and artillery can't fight by itself. Um, although Rhodes Division is advancing. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Come on, that's what I'm... Yes, yes, yes. Look at that. All of these guys are in a really nice position, close to the woods. We're definitely going to bring them down. Just like a hailstorm on the enemy. Let's go. All right, Pettigrew's going to have to change his positioning, guys. I mean, those flanking shots were great while they lasted. But it's time now to focus on more important things. Scales move forward. And Jones, I've told you to move several times. I do believe I have anyway. I could be mistaken. Okay, we need Lane to come back to the battle. Now, this artillery is doing this incredibly good job at holding this position but if we stick around i fear archer is going to get wasted um i mean the shell shot the canister shot it's doing its job but it's not going to do its job for long um you know they just have too many men although we should maybe just keep up the advantage let's move forward move forward we've still got guys like scales that can watch the woods maybe we can flank attack here very very quickly i'm going to actually open fire on harrow He's in range, and if we're going to lose our artillery, I want them to lose theirs. Although Biddle is a constant source of embarrassment and anger. He's doing a great job. That's right, Lane. We need you now, son. I'm going to have Lane charge Kurznowski. Yes, we don't outnumber him, but I actually believe that Lane is a better commander than Kurznowski, and I think that could play a role here. So that's going to be a charge that people are either going to hate me for or that's going to work out extremely well. Either way, we're going to bring up reinforcements here, and it's amazing. Look at that. Look at that. We were making the enemy run. This is working for so far, guys. This is actually working. So that's definitely a bonus. Early's division is entering the battle from the northeast. Oh, Lord. We've got everybody coming to help. Come on, boys. That's led by Ewell. Okay, I'm going to attack. I don't want to be too crazy, but we'll get over here. It seems like an actual, actually a pretty good point, and eventually we'll attack from the north. In fact, I'm going straight for it. Going straight for the guttural. Get a, fire, get a shot on Cutler. Let's take him out. Come on. In fact, we can detach some skirmishers. Hundred Confederate dollars to the first man that downs General Cutler. Oh yeah, guys. Cutler's out of the battle. That's a huge plus. Usually we're the ones losing generals. Um, but in this case, we're doing okay. But that son of a bitch, that son of a bitch, Paul, is back. And what do you know? He's doing what he's good at and being a pain in my ass. Now, we did manage to route Krzyzanowski. That's great. Really good news. But we're going to have to deal with Paul and retake that area. And that's just annoying. I mean, it really is. I'm even going to run. We might need to divert more men to take Paul out. Because he is holding a very important position right now. We're probably going to go ahead and take this position ourselves. But still, you know, we could have had two. I'm going to send Lane up there to deal with Paul. Yep, this is the one battle where I'm going to accept the run. Just to get into position, get some good cover. better bet we are going to get some amazing cover from here all right we secured the ridge very nice although i'd like to have all three locations not just one you keep it up Pettigrew. you know you know exactly what you're doing son i'm gonna bring thomas over here 
fire on Schmivelnig, and I think Perrin needs to get a bit closer if he's going to do any damage at all to Ames. It does mean us pulling out of this location, out of cover, but it's a necessary evil. Come on, Lane. Son, what is wrong with you? I want you to run. I know your condition ain't great. See what's going on up here. The Union withdraws to Cemetery Hill. Well, interesting. We've got to secure all ridges west of the town to consolidate our army in the vicinity of Gettysburg. If we succeed to capture also Cemetery Hill, we will decisively conclude the battle. Well, this is what it all comes down to, am I right? We've got to keep up what we're doing. We've got to keep up the good work. But to do that, we got to get rid of this asshole, Paul. I hate you, Paul. You really are just a just a pain. Smart, but a pain nonetheless. Alright, guys. We've got our armies approaching from the north. I'm going to keep on sending them down. And I think at this point we're definitely safe to bring in Ewell's Corps. Ewell's Corps, excuse me. Shame on me. And we can hit them from the north, really flank the enemy. Look at that. Reynolds is running like a beaten dog, a whip dog. Pettigrew, you can keep on moving down south. Hit those damn artillery pieces. Thomas, same goes for you. Let's get rid of the enemy artillery. I know you're low on ammo, but we got supplies for you. Relax. We're bringing in supplies for the artillery. And we probably want to move them up, too. I'm going to keep McIntosh and Broken Bro here. Or Broken Bro and uh, Davis here, I should say. Freudian slip, I suppose. All right, here we go. Let's hit Biddle. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this battle so far. You know how this goes. If you like this particular video in this battle, and look at how we just wasted that artillery, you're going to want to come back for more. And to come back for more, you want to hit that like button. You want to drop a comment down below. All of that really helps um, us to get noticed. And it's the only way that this channel is going to take off is for us to get noticed um, and for us to get as many views as possible. So keep that in mind. Let's keep the Battle of Gettysburg going. And let's see if we cannot secure a victory for the South. We've got a lot to work through. And uh, that, that also means getting through town here. It's going to be a major assault. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Have an awesome, awesome day.